Episode 974, Hiding in Plain Sight. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. I hope you are having a splendid weekend, gathering up some really good rest time so you can be energized for the week yet to come. Today is Sweet Spirit Sunday, and yes, it is a time to rejuvenate our mind, body, and especially our spirit. We're chatting about hiding in plain sight. It's going to be a good one, so stay tuned. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter. They keep a simple strategy, everyday solutions to live, love, and impact. But when we take that time to rest... And believe it or not, we don't rest enough. And I think we need to take it seriously. That's why every week we have Sweet Spirit. Sweet Spirit Sunday is what I like to call it. We need that reflection. We need that time to build our relationship with Christ even more, to look back on maybe some things we need to change or tweak about ourselves so we can become and create our now, becoming the person that God really wants us to be, your best selfie. But what happens when no one is looking? What are you hiding in plain sight? Each of us have secrets, secrets we don't want the world to know. And as much as you think you are hiding them, you aren't. Your life is an open book to God. There is nothing you can hide from him. What are you hiding in plain sight? What do you not want people to see? Maybe it's the extra snack you grabbed in the kitchen or maybe two or three. You know, you're working on your nutrition and you really want to be healthy and, uh, well, there's temptation. And so, well, if nobody sees it, that's okay. Nobody knows. Maybe it's cheating someone else out of what's due to them. Maybe you kind of finagled your way in a project and you got more of the recognition than the rest of the team. That's cheating someone out of what they deserve to be recognized with. It could be actually cheating on a spouse. Maybe it's the smack talk Mm -hmm. about your best friend behind their back. Yeah, maybe in front you're like, oh, man, I love you so much. We just need to go and have coffee more and let's go shopping next weekend. But then behind their back you're like, oh, you will not believe what she did and what she's saying and how she talks about her husband on and on and on and on and on. You know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe it's not doing what you committed to do. Oh, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. And you back out. But it's not just one time because we all have those instances in life, right? Where oops, something comes up or oops, we forgot. But when the oops and the forgetting happens two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times or more, it's a habit. No matter what you're hiding in plain sight, God already knows. And what's awesome about that, he still loves you right where you're at. He doesn't abandon you or leave you because you failed, because you didn't live up to certain expectations. He loves you. Maybe you've experienced a divorce or a breakup from a boyfriend. And this could have been as far back as high school, college. You know, you're just left behind because, oh, well, you you didn't live up to my expectations, so therefore you're not worthy. God doesn't say that. God says, I love you, and I meet you, and I come to you right where you're at. Yet, we act like we can conceal and hide everything. You know, I think about the Monday mornings, because one's coming up just around the corner. It is. And we don't want to get up. Why? Because, well, the weekend was too good to us. We were too relaxed. We didn't have enough of the busyness mindset. Maybe we need to take note of that. That's for another episode. But it's important that we think about that. And so Monday morning comes around and you're just like, I just don't want to get out of bed. And you just kind of hunker down in the covers. And you pull them up as far as you can. Oh, it's too cold if you come out from the covers. You don't want to show what's underneath those covers. You'd rather just kind of stay hidden. We act and we try to conceal what we don't want others to know about. 
But what would happen if you lived your life knowing you had no secrets? You had nothing to hide. How would that change your attitude? How would that impact your decisions? How would that affect your spirit? You know, with your attitude, maybe you would actually smile more. You'd be like, yes, I got this. This is awesome. I'm having a wonderful day even though things are going to pot. How would that impact your decisions? Well, maybe you would actually be more of a risk taker, be a high roller. If you didn't listen to episode 973, go back and listen to that episode. It's a good one, The Gift of You. You'll understand what I mean by be a high roller. And no, it has nothing to do with gambling, even though we talk about gambling, but it's not like that. (laughs) How would that impact your decisions? How would it affect your spirit? Would you feel like that, you know what? I, I am worthy. God created me for a purpose. I'm not an accident. It's sad how there are adults walking around now that they're grown, you know, from children, for, from childhood, now they're an adult. And they have lived their whole life out thinking that they were not loved, not wanted. From whatever maybe they overheard from their parents or from siblings or from friends or just outside noise, just whatever happens to get in their little head. And for some reason, they're like, yeah, I'm I'm not worthy. I'm not loved. But if you had nothing to hide, how would that affect you? Hebrews 4 verse 13 says this, nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. So what's hiding in plain sight? This is a hard one. As I was writing my notes for this episode, there are some things that I struggle with. One of them, root beer floats. I love my root beer floats. And that temptation is real. Now, one way to combat that is don't have ice cream and root beer in the house at the same time. Then I don't have to worry about it. But I love food. And so, yeah, there are times that I will get things for the children. And, oh, my goodness, it's calling my name. And, or I will even cook something. And I'm like, oh, I want a bowl of that. But I know for my body, it just it doesn't work. But you know what? I'm not perfect. I can't keep the weight off all the time. I still want to indulge. And even I sneak those little bites here and there, I may be hiding them from the real world, but God sees right through me. And he has his way of tugging at your heart. Maybe you feel that something's tugging at your heart right now. You know, it's like when you do the action that you think you're hiding from everybody, including God, You feel a little or maybe a lot of guilt. And yeah, I do. When I go for that extra whatever it is, I feel guilty. And then I beat myself up and oh, then then my body pays the price for it. And I do not feel good the next morning. What are you hiding in plain sight? Today for your reflection, and really throughout this week, if you work and conduct some time and carve out time in your life and you do meditation, I would recommend that you reflect on this question this week. Ask God what secret he wants to come out and be revealed. Now, this secret may need to be revealed that you know that he knows. Now, you know that he knows, but our minds play what tricks on us, don't they? Our minds make us think that, well, God doesn't really know. And man, if he is, and then we start to ask questions and then we put him out of our mind and we just do what we want to do because we think we know what's best. That's called control and that doesn't work. God knows. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. So maybe you're feeling a tug at your heart today. 
ask God what secret or secrets he wants to come out and be revealed. I mean, think about this. What if you had no secrets, truly? And you didn't have to worry about them. And you lived your life knowing that it's okay. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to go spread all your secrets to everybody and tell the world. No, I'm not saying that. But when you live knowing that God already knows and you have gone through the, the process of, well, he knows, and the people who are important who need to know that secret know, then what happens? Oh, you've got freedom. You have freedom. How would that change your attitude? How would that impact your decisions? How would that affect your spirit? Again, this doesn't mean that the secret is being revealed to the world. You just may need to get it out of hiding so God can heal you, direct you, love you. You can feel forgiven. You see, when your secrets are revealed, there's freedom in that, and you are no longer hiding in plain sight. Don't constrain yourself by secrets. Don't jail yourself by thinking that, no, nah, I'm just going to hide under the covers. It's okay. No one needs to know. Not everybody needs to know your secrets, no. But God wants you to know that he knows. He wants you to release the secrets to him so he can build confidence within you and he can transform you and create in you, in whom he has already seen. Go out. Have faith today. Stop hiding in plain sight. Be present. Be incredible. And most importantly, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.